In FeatureCam 2014 R3, you now have the option to change the plunge point for Z-level roughing operations. In this particular part, you can see we've got an aerostructure component, and we wish to machine these series of pockets. In the first instance, what we're going to do is concentrate on this initial pocket here, which is coloured yellow. You can see by default, this particular pocket has a, has a default ramp operation set for its approach. If I was to go to the rough, into the leads, you can see we're doing a ramp to depth. If we play this as a 3D simulation, and as a single step, you can see the tool approaches, ramps into location, and then works its way through the pocket like so. What I wish to do is I wish to change the approach for this using a pre-drill operation. Now pre-drill operations have been available for some time and in this case if I go to my roughing tab, go to my leads, I can choose plunge to a pre-drill location, set my drill diameter and I can choose whether I spot drill or not. In this case I'm going to say apply and you'll notice additional operations will appear in the feature. You can see I've now got a spot drill and a twist drill and in this case it's selected my 20mm drill to pre-drill this, this pocket. I'm going to say OK to that. Preview this operation and again doing a single step. You can see we get a spot drill like so and our drilling operation before we go to our end mill to machine the pocket. We can now control where this location is so in the previous operation you can see it was occurring on the right hand side of the pocket. If I go into the pocket again and I'm just going to turn off the shading you can see there's actually a plunge point here that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go to my roughing tab into the milling and in this case you'll see the new plunge point operation or plunge point option. I can go ahead and choose that plunge location. Note we get an outline of the size of the pre-drill tool. I can select that location say apply and OK. So rather than pre-drilling to the right hand side of the pocket if I go ahead and do my single step in my 3D milling operation you'll see the spot drill appears above that point and we pre-drill that location before plunging into that pre-drill point for our end mill operation. Taking this on a stage further what we wish to do is machine multiple pockets Again, if I go to my next operation, in this case I've got multiple pockets, this time using a default ramp. So in this case, we're just ramping into location for each of those pocket regions. Again, if I wish to use a pre-drill plunge point, I can go into the feature, into the rough, into the leads, and I can select plunge to a pre-drill location again with the same options that we saw before. Note you'll also see the extra operations have appeared in my operations list. However because we have multiple regions here we wish to have more control and more points to establish where we're plunging to. We can either leave this as default or we can go to the milling tab and change and add plunge points. We can do this with either single plunge points or we can actually use curves or a combination of the default options and curves as well. In this first instance you'll see I've got two curves pre-created. In this case you can see I've got a short curve that has two points, a start and an end point. If I go ahead and rename this, so I'm going to say rename, I'm going to copy the name of this curve and go back into my feature, into the milling tab under the plunge points I'm going to paste that name. This allows me to set this curve to be included as part of my plunging operations. If I go ahead and play this simulation again you'll see it uses some of the default locations which I haven't set because I haven't given it those positions in those pockets but in combination it will also use the two plunge points that I set with that curve. Again those plunge points will be used to start the milling process. If 
if I wish to have more control, I can add more points to my curve and set that within the feature itself. In this case I've got a second curve which is curve all plunge points. In this case you can see many more plunge points in this curve that allows me to introduce more points to our feature. Again I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to rename, I'm going to copy that name, I'm going to go back into my feature under the roughing, milling, I'm going to set that plunge point as that curve name. I've now got full control over all the points in all the pockets. I've established enough plunge points. So when I go and do my 3D simulation, you'll see all the plunge points have been overwritten with my curve locations. In this case, every single discontinuity in that curve. So here we can see the multiple plunge points, each one of those positions, and the pre-drill holes, and then the milling operation starting from those plunge points wherever possible.